What's up guys, this is Nitro Guy here, and check this out. Today I will be showing you how to synchronize your audio and video using After Effects. It's a fairly simple procedure, and I already have some pre-recorded audio and video to uh, show you guys this. Alright, <clears throat> the uh, first step is to uh, apparently open After Effects. Um, now, I'm not so sure how to do this in any other software, uh, just for this, uh, primarily because this is what I work with. But, anyways, we'll keep this as simple as possible. I mean, simple. So, I got my, uh, samples open here. And what I'm gonna do is just, uh, highlight those, select both of them. You could do that by hitting Control A, or you could just highlight them and drag them into your, project box here all right usually the first thing i do to allow me the most uh room to play with in a composition uh what i do is i click on either the audio sample or the video sample and find out which one's the longest now you can do this by looking up here in the upper left hand corner next to the uh properties uh of your dialogue box of your uh video or audio or whatever it is your media i should say and we'll find out which one's longest. And the movie's the longest. What do you know? It's 15 seconds long. And the other one's 14 seconds long. So we'll just click and hold here and grab this and drag it to the new composition button, which is located at the bottom of that box. All right. The next step that I usually do, or what I like to do, is just drag my audio layer up under my video layer. All right. Now, since we will not be using the audio for, that's recorded directly from the video, or with, at the same time the video is recorded, we'll just click the uh, little speaker icon there. It's got like little sound waves coming off that just mutes that whole track uh, for whatever audio is under there. All right, and then the next thing, make sure you got your audio sample highlighted. Now, it is very important that you click, or not click rather, but hit your L button twice. This is going to pull up your waveforms for your audio. And, uh, when you, and this is, uh, I forgot to mention this. When you do record this and everything, make sure you, uh, clap or, or do something that, that gives a, a, a visual and audio, uh, reference time mark so you'll know when, how to sync it. So basically what I do is I just scrub through my video track here and look for where I clapped. And all right, we got it right there. Oop, so back up just a little bit and a little bit more. All right, now you can use on your Windows. I'm not sure with Mac. I don't own a Mac. But use your page up and page down keys to, uh, you know, go through the layer frame by frame. So what we'll do is I'll hit page down for, uh, you know, forward and page up for backwards. All right, so we see that my hands make a full contact right there, but it's not synchronized with the audio. All right, so now what we do is we can zoom in on our timeline here, and not super duper far, and basically just drag your audio uh, line until it matches with the spike. I mean, drag your um, audio and match the spike with the... Uh, time that you clapped all right and that's in that frame so that works out perfect what we'll do though is we'll go backwards one frame and then drag that layer to the appropriate side here let's see all right right there because it's going to make that noise right about that's at the same time it hit together so all right now that we got that that's it that's synchronized so we'll just try it out so i'll drag my workspace area uh render cube thing whatever that is work end area <clears throat> over here to the claps i mean the uh, uh audio part to see if it matches up with my voice and you can do this either of two ways uh you can hit the zero on your numerical keypad or just hit the ram preview button it is located right here in your uh your uh, workspace area now there's different uh you know work panels you can use all of them uh whatever i j just mine's on effects right now so it's right up here so we'll just click on that or hit zero this is a short demonstration this is a short demonstration this is a short demonstration 
and you can see it matches up with the lips and everything so we'll just clip a little bit more of that this is a short demonstration on how to sync your audio and video using after effects this is a short demonstration on how to that works perfect so anyways that is the conclusion of this tutorial now if you want to add more stuff or whatever and whatnot uh i didn't use audacity to edit this audio it's just straight from the voice memo app on the iphone uh all that stuff is you know irrelevant though but it's just noteworthy so uh what i would do is just exit the program because there's nothing else to do we don't sync the audio if you want to render it out you just click on composition uh add to render queue and then go over there and designate where you want to save your file to and click on render it's just simple as that it's boom 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 done like the crazy russian hacker would say i guess but that's the conclusion for this tutorial thanks guys for watching and it's been a pleasure slider bar the more it is to the left the more background noise shows up and the more it is to the right 